Hold tight guys, welcome to this Plumber Parts of Coding UK video. My name's James, today we're going to be looking at fitting this toilet here, up against this here. Here's my shadow, hello. Uh, we're gonna be going through there, and then we have got a, a four inch pipe here. Got a little bit of a complicating factor, and I like to show complicating factors because plumbing isn't an easy job, is it? The complicating factor is this. Our center for our uh, toilet is just here. We've just drilled this hole through here, right, so we know where the center is. Now, can you see the problem? At the moment, the center for our toilet is about three inches below the center for our waste pipe just over here. So what we've got to do is we've got to somehow drop down this T. Fortunately, if you've got the right tools, it's not that difficult really, or at least it's made a little bit easier by us having the right tools. It's more just like over the shoulder job, give you a better idea about plumbing, how difficult it can be. If you like this t-shirt as well, because we're selling merchandise now, we'll be putting some links in this video for where you can buy these t-shirts, and also there'll be links at the end to subscribe as well. So I hope you enjoy this video, guys, and remember to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk Home of Find Your Plumber. That'll do. <laughs> Right then guys, so the first thing we've done is we know exactly where the center of the loo is, right? Because what we've done is we've recorded from here over to here and we've marked our center point here. Then what we've done is we've grabbed ourselves a tape, we've measured up from the floor to the center of this, and then we know exactly from there where to drill our center hole. Uh, and that then allowed us to just basically test exactly where our four inch should be going in here. Now the thing is, with these sorts of loos, we don't wanna be tucking ourselves up too tight. And we've got a big gap here that we know we can sort of cut out from the floor all the way to the top just here as well. So what I'm gonna do is measure that gap now and actually cut this whole hole out on this wall here. So that's the next job I'm gonna do. So then now that we've got this bit marked out just here, don't know if you can see that, we've just got that marked out there. First things first, get our actual dust sheet down, make sure everything's protected, and then I'm gonna use my little multi-cutter oscillating beast to get through that wall. Right then guys, so we've got our hole through there. There's our lovely hole. So what we've got to do is basically marry up this toilet, get this up against the wall here, uh, and then we're gonna get all our screw holes sorted out and all those bits and pieces. Top tip for you here as well, sorry about the light. What I've done is I've measured the center of the loo, okay, and then measured the distance between each side of the wall here and here, and then I've married them up together like that. So now we know that they're exactly right the whole time. Now that we've got this piece mocked up in here, we know how high, I need to keep my flushes as high as I can so you get a really great flush. So what we're gonna do, we know now how high that can be. So I can mark with a pencil exactly where I need my bracket and then also I can cut this pipe back to where it needs to be so this goes back in here and back in here, then our flush is done. Right then guys, because the toilet that we're fitting right is quite deep, the actual waste pipe is quite deep set into the toilet, sort of the way it was cast, we can't use standard fittings. Like usually what you do is you would grab one of these, okay, one of these McAlpine WC Con 8s, bang that on the back and then shove that straight into the stack. We can't do that here, which means that we have to use a small adapter to get this fully out. You've got this kind of rubberized flange on here with a small lip on it as well, and that is like the seal causing lip. What you do, you push that in a few like, inches or an inch, tighten that up on this Jubilee clip, and then you've got this flexible connector here that you can pull out, and then we can get into our waste pipe that way. Now I know a lot of different people, sometimes they have a bit of an issue with these waste pipes and that, with these flexies especially, but this is gonna be just fine for this job. And it's got the very catchy McAlpine name of the WC Con 8FBTW, the name of McAlpine's new album. We're gonna pop that onto the back and then we're gonna do the difficult work of actually cutting the stack back and getting that in the right position as well. Not an easy part to do on this particular job. Uh, and it's not something that I'm gonna give you any kind of instruction on how to do, because this sort of thing is just unusual. You don't have to do it all the time, and it's uh, one of those things that's not a standard sort of job. But as apprentices, uh, you guys are gonna learn you know, plumbing's not straightforward. And also, as your average DIYer, when you ask me the question on YouTube, how do I fit a toilet, you're gonna hopefully realize how 
bloody ridiculous that question is. Because <laughs> it's, how long is a piece of string? There you go. Right, so, let's get this on now. Enjoy watching. Right then guys, so we've uh, cut out this, I mean it was seriously probably the most fun job I've had in ages. Thanks Carl. So we've got a slip joint in here and then obviously we've now dropped down the height of our T. But if you have a look under here, you can see, you know, exactly the problem we've kind of got, the depth of that loo, it's right back here. And this is right back against the wall at the moment, this toilet. And so what we're gonna do now is, I mean, I love, I mean flexes are fine, that's great. But we wanna keep as little flexy out as possible. Also look, have a look down there, look, look at that. Always take out the instructions. Come here, you. We're going to twist this round so it's in the right orientation. And then, because I don't want to have too much flexi that's kind of dangling in the middle of nowhere, we're going to cut a little bit more four inch and just stick that out, probably about 10 inches worth or a foot's worth of four inch. And then we can sort of zigzag like nice and straight into the uh, actual stack like that. We've got our waist in here now, as you can see. So we've got all those in there. We've got our four inch here. We've got a really tight Jubilee clip on there as well. As you can see, our little flush uh, cone is directly in there as well. And we've got all our rubbers and everything done up here. This is nice and level too. And as you can see, just over here, we've got our T in, our slip joint. Now, some of you are going to say, oh, look, that's, uh, that's soil there, and that's grey, and then that's black. You know what? It doesn't matter. So, what we're going to do now is get our first fix uh, over to here and into our toilet. So, there we go. We've got our pipe nicely hidden just back down here now. And then we can actually fill this loo up if you want and test for leaks and make sure that everything's gonna be okay. But that's not what I'm gonna do right now. Next thing I'm gonna do, you see Carl lurking in the background there. Trying to stay out of shot, aren't you Carl? Uh, <laughs> yeah, what we're gonna do after that is we are just gonna clean up the floor, give it a hoover where we wanna put our loo, uh, and then we're gonna mark and stick down our toilet basically. So we've got two screws to get through the floor. Um, so basically, yeah, clean up the floor, give it a mop up, then we can get this glued down and then you can also watch us silicon it in as well. Right, so we've cleared up in here, well as best we can anyway, lose out of the way. And now we need to figure out about actually fixing these toilets down. So, we've got our two holes just sticking through here like that underneath the loo. We need to get our brackets on here in roughly the right area. Now I say roughly because if you look on here, there's literally like 100 holes on there or whatever. And if you're just a little bit out and you catch one of them holes, you're still going to be able to tighten this up. Now I would say, once you've got the these in, they aren't the be all and end all when it comes to fitting either. Um, mainly because I'm a firm believer that the actual main, uh, like holding, the main gripping of the of the toilet is actually done by the silicon seal that you do with it. Because that is, you know, 100% all round every surface that touches the wall and the floor. Regardless of that, we've got to put these in anyway. Um, if you've got, you know, Big Fat John or whatever comes and sits on the toilet and it moves out of the way, Big Fat John ain't going to be very happy. So we're going to measure this distance here. We've got another mark as well, just here. So hoping that everything's nice and square when we come out, we can then draw a center line out here at 581 mil. 581 mil. We know how far out to go, because we've just measured our distances out, so we know what to do there as well. So we know we're gonna come out nine centimeters that way, and then nine centimeters that way. And then effectively, what we need to do then is measure the depth of the holes coming off the back of this wall here. Try and make sure as well that your wall isn't out of level, okay? So you might want to bang a bubble in there and just make sure that wall's reasonably leveled, as you can see it is. 200 back. So that's there. And there. So now we know that these are in the right place here. As you can see, we've got a centre line, our width line, and then we measured out from the wall to get the line across here as well. And now we can mark our holes, drill, and plug these two down. Well, I can say that now was pretty knackering. It's done, it should look a little bit like this, as you can see. Right, guys, so a moment of truth, all that measuring, all that drilling. So hopefully I should be able to push this back up into here. They're both perfect. So we've got both our bits back in there. All it's a matter of to do now is to find our screws and caps, get them screwed on, 
Sometimes I leave the caps on until you've done your silicon in, because sometimes when you put the caps on the toilet, like these sticking out the side of the toilet, can get in the way of your former or in the way of your finger as you're smoothing out. So do the caps last, okay? Wow, look there, all of a sudden a, uh, a basin appeared. How about that? Uh, we've just cleaned around it and we're ready to silicon up. We've obviously already done videos on silicon and everything, so I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. You can just watch us yet again in quick motion while we do it. So then guys, quick look at the job to explain why we've done what, because sometimes people just don't get it. As you guys know, we had a problem here with our height on the uh, four inch. Carl over there takes full responsibility for that, don't you Carl? Yep. Uh, it's all his fault. Um, and we've had to sort it out because we're plumbers and we're amazing. Uh, and obviously as well, remember we said the toilet, the actual outlet for the toilet is very deep inside the cast. So we've had to put just a couple of connectors on here. And as you can see, we've just done the standard thing here when it comes to our system. Probably realized that this isn't connected yet because Carl's gonna put the button in himself when they've fully uh, done all the work next door, like all the decorating. Uh, we had to shove a slip joint on there as well, remember, because we need to put that up and down. You saw us struggling with that earlier on from the comfort of your computer. We've uh, managed to hide our pipework around behind that. We will probably box this bit in at a later date, but remember, if you're a chippy and you're watching this and you're putting some boxing in, in make sure we can remove it if there's a problem. Blue seats on, all siliconed in, uh, and obviously as you can see, we've got a lot more extra work to do here. We've got a shower to put in. Everything seems to be going AI. Okay. Right then guys, so there you go, you've seen the whole job's done now, toilets in, silicon sealed, we've tested for leaks and there's no leaks. By all means, if this video has helped you, leave a comment or a like and click on the links that are appearing right now to subscribe, buy a t-shirt or watch more videos. Until then guys, hold tight.